300 million people are not able to meet the needs basically for cook stoves. They are walking six to eight kilometers living by the forest area and have no choice but to use the wood as the basic means of fuel. And these stoves which they are using are not very efficient, fuel efficient. So they are continuously getting in. The traditional reserve forest areas are being minimized. There is a lot of there, there is a lot of overexploitation of the resources. There is also sort of access to forest lands for agriculture and uh, short-term gains. So, uh, and if that is not happening, the people are out migrating. So, whatever they were traditionally protecting the forests is not happening now. We really need to bring the quality of life for these poor people by the sides of these forests to a much better position. Then uh, we must address the fuel wood needs of these people. We have done about five to seven projects on cook stoves in India over the last five, seven years. And uh, two or three of these projects are only on cook stoves and then we shifted into other livelihood based conservation practices. And Cook stoves are a, a great deal of climate change mitigation effects straight away. And also they link up to the biodiversity because the reduced use of woodlots, re-emergence of forests occur faster. And we focus very, very strongly on three issues while we are deciding the fuel cook stoves. One is that there has to be a basic principle of people taking the decisions, which ones they want. Second is they have to share at least 20 to 25, 30% of the cost of the cook stove. And the third thing is they have also to take the roles and responsibilities and all this is not done over a period of two days. There is a whole process approach which we follow where in the village meetings we agree all this and the terms and conditions are agreed. The mapping, village mapping is done where the cook stoves have to be done because there is an outsider who has to come and de develop this and that skill has to be passed within the local volunteers who can easily do this. Uh, a mason would take about half a day to construct one stove and if that skill is passed largely into the communities then there are many people doing the same cook stove. If we make investments into conservation and in cook stoves, uh, while there are going to be direct benefits of reduced wood lots, there will be energy efficiency, there will be reduced drudgery, health and increased time for women. But there are many indirect benefits, you know. India has been a repository to the traditional knowledge and practices. And this investment, we can then lead through these tribal people who are working around these protected areas and these um, biodiversity hotspots and can then build the locals to use that traditional knowledge in a more market-based economy. What I have been very much uh, fascinated and why I am so keen that we work with RARE is their investment in capacity building uh, and skills upgradation both at the non-governmental organizational level and at the community level. So I think so those two things more in a systemic form will give them a prize winners over a period of time. It's a matter of five years. I'm sure this will make difference. If we can attempt this sort of an approach of simple cook stoves to be introduced, there is a great opportunity for livelihood benefits.